Santa and Neo Phoenix once again face the squad of Osaka Ivesa. They'd like to be able to solidify their position on top of the standings as they move further into the playoffs. We'd like to welcome you to the Toyohashi City Gym, the venue for our game here this Sunday afternoon at the home of the San and Neo Phoenix. The Neo Phoenix have actually solidified already their spot in the playoffs, which they call the championship here in the B-League. So they're gearing up. They want these next few games to be solid. They want to be heading into the playoffs on a winning note. They want to continue to be healthy, but more than anything else, they want to be in the groove. There you can see, 39 and 10 is their record. They have won the Central Conference. Osaka Evesa, on the other hand, at 2029, 20, playing the spoilers role for the next couple of games, the next couple of weeks, as the season, the regular season, in fact, winds down. These two squads faced each other yesterday, and Sanen won that one convincingly, 96 to 79. As we take a look at some of the highlights from yesterday's affair. The good news for the San Antonio Phoenix is Yante Matten is back. He is their man in the middle. And they'd like to be able to make sure that he stays in that lineup. Even bigger news is Cody Clark is also healthy. And that gentleman there who just hit that shot, Sasaki. He's starting to round out into good form as well. He was the starting point guard to begin this season. But he has been in and out of the lineup because of injuries. Also nice to have Kanamaru back in action. With the squad of coach Atsushi Ono. Atsushi Kanamaru is a member of the Japanese national squad. He is their top local player as we take a look at the squad first of Osaka Evesa. They'll be led by their Asia Kota import, Hyun Jung Lee. But unfortunately, he is not in the lineup. So they're going to have to rely on number 21, Sean Long. Number 32, that's Angelo Kaloairo. And also number 34, Ian Hummer. So they're short of just one import, the Asia Quota import. They would like to have a complete lineup, especially against the squad of the San Diego Phoenix. Now we have the starting unit. We're starting off with number 15. That's Joji Takeuchi, a longtime member of the Japanese national squad. He's now 39 years old, but still, he feels he's got a little bit more miles left before he calls it a career. We're also starting out with Sean Long, number 21. We have number 31, that is Makoto Kinoshita. Number 32, we talked about him, Angelo. They're important from the United States. And they also have number 35, Tatsuya Suzuki. Now let's have and enjoy the fanfare as we welcome the San Antonio Phoenix.
to you there the numbers from yesterday's affair. A win by the San Antonio Phoenix. Shot much better from the two point distance, 68% to 53%, and also from three, 36% as compared to 29%. Turnovers, just about the same at nine. So it's really the shooting percentages were the key to victory with the Neo Phoenix. As we take a look at this key player matchup, it's Matin on one side for Sanin and for Osaka. Sean Long. You see their comparative numbers. Matten likes to operate close to the basket. That's why he's shooting 90%. 3 squad is what coach Atsushi Ono has right now and he'd like to make sure he keeps it at that as we head closer and closer to the playoffs. Starters, Freddy Ravenna, number 0, number 1, Yante Matten, number 4, Cody Clark, number 5, that's Shota Ora, and number 14, Kosuke Kanamaru. And there is head coach Atsushi Ono. Coach on the other side, Coach Matthias Fisher. The squad trying to play spoilers here. Our officials for this afternoon's affair. Referee Kubo, Referee Uchikawa, and Referee Uchino. Starters once again. Ravenna, Matten, Clark. Ora and Kanamaru for Sanen. For the visitors, Osaka Evesa, they've got Takeuchi, Long, Kinoshita, Kaluara, and Suzuki. We're set. We're ready for the jump ball. Ora has quietly inserted himself into that starting lineup. It used to be Sasaki. But Sasaki, after coming off injury, has yielded that starting spot to Ora. And Ora's done so well. Actually, it's more of a defensive point guard. Ora does play decent offense, but he's a tremendous stopper. Sasaki on the other hand, what do you say, Sasaki is absolutely efficient when it comes to offense, but defensively, not as strong. Here comes Oda. Oda, I think, 
He wanted to show me and says, this is what I can do offensively as well. First two points to Ora. And a post up inside once again, looking for Long. He'll send it out. Open three. Not gonna drop. Those are the shots that Suzuki needs to make. If they want to be competitive here. This auto once again. Really try to take Masaki off the dribble. Why not? He's much bigger. He's 5'11 as compared to 5'7. But they'll go inside. Matin. Baby hook drops. It's four to nothing. Suzuki. Now hands it up high. Good hands there from Kanamaru with a swipe. They're gonna say it's gonna stay here though with the visitors. Watch it here. Kanamaru got caught. And then came up with a swipe. That should be going the other way. Are we going to have a challenge this early? Yes, we are going to have a challenge this early. Well, he's going to win this challenge. Sure, you want to use it to challenge this early. You're up four to nothing, and the game has just begun. That's clearly off the leg of the player from Osaka. I guess what Coach Ono is hoping is this is in a close game. He'd like to be able to blow out Osaka as early as now. So he's not going to need his challenge in the second half. Much less needed in the fourth. Ooh. He's just lost his challenge. And they're not getting the ball. Oh, they made the same mistake twice. Now they're giving it to the Neo Phoenix. So he did win the challenge. So he'll bring it down. So he has been playing exceptional basketball as of late. Kosuke tries to kiss it off the glass, a little bit too strong. That was a breakdown in defense that time. Easy basket coming here. For Kinoshita. Osaka on the board. Cody Clark left open for this three. He'll come up short though. Long with the rebound. So right now, they're playing with one import. We do have Georgie Takuchi in there. He gives him a lot of height at 6 foot 9. Here's Long. Attacking Matin. This is Nefalo Niente. Sean takes care of the first free throw. Cody Clark. Five. Foul's going to be called there. Break, 
First personal foul going to be called there on number 32, Angelo. So Angelo is on the floor now. Macken once again. Sweeping hook, not going to drop. Suzuki. Goes inside to Long. He'll lose it again. And we have a challenge here this time from Coach Matthias. No challenge, but the referees will change the call. They say we're staying here in this end. That's a good tip by 30. As the shot clock will continue to run, it's now down to 11. Well, 30 touched that one last. The baseline inbound here. It's still enough time in the shot clock, but they got to rush a little bit. Long wasn't able to handle it. Sneaking in from the back is Sean Long. Two and one fast break. Easy lane there for Angelo. His first two points. And it's a two point lead enjoyed by Osaka. Dirty with a swish. Getting to his spot on the floor, hitting that 14 footer. Out of six. Suzuki. That's a nice pass. Angelo scores. He's got four. Nice basket once again from 30. He's starting to heat up here. It's a good sign for San En. Pass to the wing. A mismatch there against Ora. Three on the way, drops. One point lead once again here. Actually, a three point lead now. After a three coming from Kinoshita. Speed inside, Aura with another basket. Moving so well without the basketball. He's got four points. Four points also for 30. Four minutes gone in the opening quarter. Angelo, thinking of what to do, brings it out. Takuchi will go inside and long. Long quick move. Out to the wing. Angelo, step back three. A little bit too strong that time. And Amaru clears. And here comes 30. Foul will be called on Suzuki as he gets ready to be replaced. He picks up his first personal as he takes a seat on the bench. Taking his place is number eight, Asahi Tajima, the 35-year-old. Suzuki Okawa, number 29, the shooter for San En is just checked in. Pocket pass from 30. It's too tight. 30 apologizes to the bench. Kissing it high up the glass, that's gonna work. Quick contribution here from Asahi. Back up to visitors. Off the curl, Hosokawa. 
Foul's going to be called there in 30. Nice tap in there, coming out of nowhere. An athletic move coming here from the youngster, Fumia Leo. He's 23 years old, standing six foot flat. First personal foul going to be called there. Anasahi. Now checking in is big boy Ian Hunter. Together with David Dudzinski. The third world important for the San Diego Phoenix. Sakhi has checked in as well. That's a nice feed. Yante Matin taking advantage of the fact that Ian Hunter just checked in. He got lost in the mix there. Three point play in offing here for Matin, who now has four points. First personal foul quickly called in. Here. Looked like it was going to be a foul on Dudzinski, but they're going to say he stepped on the sideline first. There was a step, and then the bump. Still a three-point lead enjoyed here by Osaka, though. Foul's going to be called, stopping the action. Osaka already in the penalty. Still a lot of time to be played here. Not a good foul. Now Yanto Matin says thank you very much. Getting to the line for the first shot. Makes it. Cuts that lead. Down to one. We can tie things up once again. This would be our third deadlock if he makes the free throw. Doesn't make it. Still Osaka clinging on to this lead. A little bit of a backcourt press being shown here. And then they call it off. Yamauchi is also in the ball game. Morihisa Yamauchi, the 33-year-old swingman. Nice rebound there by Matten as he got knocked to the floor by Budzinski. Yamauchi. Try to go inside, forces that one up. Not a good shot. Now it's going to be called there. First personal foul on Sasaki. You can see Sasaki still struggling with his game. The more he gets to play, the more he'll get his sea legs back. Checking in for the first time, Takanobu Nishikawa, number seven. Still a one-point lead by the visitors. Coach Matthias, so far, likes what he sees. Yeah. 
He's waiting for Hunter to get into the block. Eventually gets it. The free throw line. His pass though. Not a good one. Almost committed a foul there. Short from Sasaki. A lot of times, that's usually money. Got another 14 to work with. Sasaki copped out at the last minute. Dudzinski had to put this one up. Shot clock was winding down. Saka still up by one. Tajima. The controls here. That's a nice find, but quick jump there from Matin. Gets the block. Sasaki. That's what he said. He can catch and shoot. Knocks that one down, and the timeout will be called here by Coach Mathias. Back to the action here. Hunter will bring it closer and finish stronger this time. No more soft layups here for Ian as he gets his first two points. After that block, he said, I'm changing my strategy. Wyczynski. Looks to the corner. Cody Clark will come up short. Foul's going to be called on Yamauchi. A little shove from the back on Asahi Tajima. And that will put the Neo Phoenix in the penalty as well with 126 to be played in the first. Angelo will give it out to Asahi. Asahi for three. Short there from Tajima. Good line. Good clock. Budzinski with the seal. Now gets the pass. Working on Angelo. Flips it through. We're tied at 17. Not anymore. It's 19 to 17. Tajima looking for space. Has to kick it out. Hunter. Try to bring it closer. Jumper from the wing from Nishikawa hits. Back to another tie, this time at 19. Sasaki launches and hits. That's his second three. That is a welcome development to see Sasaki getting into his rhythm offensively. That's how comfortable he was to start off the season before that injury. Asahi for three, can answer the bell. That's where we're going to end. First quarter hostilities. Three point lead for the Neo Phoenix.
Nice basket there to tie things up, a 22. Getting away inside, David Dudzinski. Gives that in, two point lead right back. A foul called on Cody Clark there on the attacking Asahi Tajima. Well, there was contact clearly there on the arm. First personal foul on Cody. Black once again, this time a 24. Six ties already. It's been a real tight affair. Unlike yesterday, San N1, 96 to 79. Aura hits. He's showing everybody, hey, I'm just as good offensively as Sasaki is. Well, that's why he's the starting point guard right now. He's played so well. They get closer, Angelo. They swing into the wing. Three not gonna drop. Kudzinski with the board. And look inside. That's a smart move there from 30. You know there was contact from Asahi. Wanted to get the free throw. Put it straight up. Now he's got two shots from the 15 foot line. Thirty makes the first four point lead now. Could be five. 
30 pointing out. There's a slick portion there right in front of him. Wanted to just make sure. Safety first, as always. That might throw him off his rhythm, though. He just made that first free throw. Long scores there, and then lead down to four. 32 28 is our tally. Kudzinski hits once again. He's starting to heat up from long range. That extends the lead now to seven. Angelo inside. That was clearly a swipe from Shota. Shotaora picking up his first personal foul. Watch it here. There's a swipe and the foul. Officially the second personal foul of Ora. Angelo now to the line. Second not gonna drop. David clears. Cody Clark back on the floor. Playing the one spot. David comes out, hands it off to Kanamaru. Kanamaru is another one of those players that we have yet to find his groove. Ora with a quick three, not gonna drop. Step back three, a little bit too strong that time from Leo. Here's Cody, trying to increase the lead of his squad. He tried to go inside. Cody Clark spotted that mismatch. Nothing much Kinoshita could do. Kinoshita stands six foot one on the other side. Kudzinski six foot eight. Second personal foul going to be called in Makoto. Saki back on the floor. Had a good pass to Hosokawa. That was the original combination to start of the season. Sasaki and Hosokawa. That was their backcourt. Our shooting percentage has also gone down. Nice look inside. Cody Clark this time with the left hand. That will be a delay of game. It's now a 
Now an eight-point lead, though, for Sanin. Slowly, they're trying to pull away. Sean Long gets away inside. Sean Long is a very strong operator down low. That's where he lives. Sasaki's going to lose it. Long. Easy pass. Angelo. Unopposed. Well, Coach Ono not wanting to take any chances. 35 seconds away from the official timeout. He'll call one of his own. Thirty has been sent back in. Cody trying to make his move. Shot clock winding down. Forces that one up. Purdy there is perfect. Talk about timing. That right. Tips it through. He's got three baskets already. For a total of six points. That'll drop. Exactly at the five minute mark here. And Suzuki. And the rest of the squad will take a little break here as we get to this official timeout. It's 39 for San En, 35 for Osaka. Five minutes before the halftime break. Sasaki, that pass was too high. 
Even if that was Cody Clark, no way his teammate could have gotten that one. That's what we're talking about. The fact that he has really not yet settled down. He's not gotten back into his pro form, so to speak. Thank you for long. See those array of moves. We'll get that to drop and Matten is hurt. Watch that again. As Matten picks up his second personal foul. Off that turn. He got hit in the kisser. And he's still down. Long is a very powerful individual. And as we said, that's where he makes his living. Order will be replaced. Let's watch it again. He got clipped on the way up with an inadvertent elbow. Are they going to review this one? It looks like they are. For an unsportsmanlike foul. They counted the basket. And it didn't look like Sean Long actually led with his elbow. That's actually a basketball move. But again, let's see what the officials deem. So the two officials have watched it. And here's the call. Watch the second referee as he makes the sign. An offensive foul is going to be called? Matten. It's a little bit shaken up there on the bench. They're giving him the, the shot, so... Basket and one opportunity. Why did the referee give the sign... But it didn't count. Well, they gave a sign a while ago saying that the ball belonged to Osaka when it actually belonged to San En, so go figure. Ora. Up high. Cody Clark for three. Yes! Cody Clark also starting to find his range now. Now the big task of having to guard Sean Long. Long against three individuals. Dudzinski's gonna lose it. And Angelo scores quickly. Ooh, they're gonna say it's a jump ball situation. Cody Clark is trying to quickly get it back. There he got tied up. Osaka was actually asking for a travel, which easily could have been as well. Three-point lead still enjoyed by San En. They won yesterday's affair, 96 to 79, but today they're in a real battle. Ora, with the baseline inbound. It's the clock. Sokawa will launch and hit. That is vintage Hosokawa. He's in there to shoot those threes. Knocks down one. He's playing center field as you can see. He comes out. Oh, foul's going to be called on Dudzinski there. He didn't like the call. As Long went down after that skirmish. David acknowledges his first. Signing now in the penalty. Still a lot to be played here in the second period. So 
actually get it in bounds. Hurry three, not gonna work. That hits the backboard. San and basketball up by six. Maybe not the best of shots that time from Kinoshita. Again, almost a steal. That Suzuki is just using his speed. He's cat quick, despite the fact that he's already 33 years old. He's trying to get that steal earlier off Dudzinski. David with launch. That from the parking lot. Just short. 30. Offensive rebound. 30 so far. He's got him two boards. He also has eight points. Smart play there from Ora. He felt the contact. Take it down, take it down. There it was. Relax. From long. Not a good foul from Sean. He can't reach also, down below Sean against these guards. For a big man like Sean Long, who is six foot nine, he's gotta try to protect the rim up high. Thirteen foul now for Osaka. Checking back in is Fumia Leo. Young budding star for Osaka as Ora misses the first. Second's good. Lead is back up to seven. The biggest lead was at eight. That was at 37 to 29. Long. Up against the phalanx of defenders. Kicks it out. Extra pass. Look like Kimishita should have just shot that one. Under three minutes to be played. And a timeout will be called here by Evesa. Salen off that missed shot, looking for a quick hit. And Hosokawa gives it to him. That's his second three. He just spots up. Wait for the pass, and it's now a 10-point advantage. Angelo tries to answer back. Nothing doing there. Angelo brings it. Passes it to Long. Long tips it to himself. The pass, though, wasn't the best. Ravenna, easy to. He just leaked out. Ravenna now in double digits. He's got 10 points. The lead is at 12. Setting 
into a zone offense. The shove, Ora hits the deck, and Angelo scores. I'll cut the lead down to 10. Osokawa brings it inside, kisses it off the glass. Not his forte, but he can score any which way, I guess. Now at eight points for Hosokawa. Angelo trying to work here on Cody. Angelo still gets away, forces it up. No call. Cody comes away with it, bringing it down. Still with possession. You gotta stop the man with the basketball. They didn't do it. Saka now trails by 14. Very good possessions here for Osaka as of late. Again, shot clock winding down. They only find the pass to another individual. That is just good work coming from Angelo. Angelo's got 15 points. All of them really earned. He's getting them the hard way. Cody says, we're going to take the last shot. At the very least, we'll be up by 12. Osaka, though, has a foul to give. Clark, nice handoff. Dudzinski with a layup. They've got to make that pass. Clock's running. That won't count. Solid finish here in the second quarter for the San Neo Phoenix. As they outscored their opponents in the second period by 11, as they lead 57 to 43 at the half. リーディングディスイズジュさんリーディングヨシズムササスセミスコーディオプレゼンツサインネオフェニックスホームゲームサインネオフェニックスタイム大阪ジュニアチアリーナズによるコラボパフォーマンスをお届けしますぜひ会場
今日はファイナルそしてファイナルズジュニアチアリーダーのトラブルパフォーマンスをお届けしました改めて皆さん大きな拍手をお届けください以上ハーフタイムショーでした
以上、リーディングパートナーズのご紹介でした。
There you see the halftime stats. 14-point lead enjoyed here by the San Emilio Phoenix. Shooting 73% from two-point distance as compared to 66% for Osaka, which is actually still quite high. But from three-point distance, two out of 11 for 18%, that's not going to cut it. 57% shooting for San En. And that has been the main difference here today. Both teams taking care of the basketball quite well. Seven turnovers for San En and just five for Osaka. Key player matchup. Yante Matin hasn't been on the floor that long because he got hit in the kisser by that man there, Sean Long, who's part of our key player matchup here for today. Checking the leading scores for both these squads. Angelo with 15 points, Sean with 8, and Nishikawa's got 5 for the leading squad. Dudzinski with 12 coming off the bench. Third year Ravenna's got 10, and Shota Ora with 8. That's what we were talking about right there. Angelo, Taluairo, leading his squad, and it's Dudzinski on the other end. Five boards for Dudzinski, third he's got three, Cody Clark's got three as well. Four rebounds for Leo, three and two for Sean Long and Angelo. In the assist department, five assists each for Ora and Suzuki five also for Cody Clark 
for the squad of San Emilio Phoenix. As we get set here for the second half. Long's gonna get denied from the back. Good help defense there from Dudzinski. Pretty good entry pass. But there was a quick double from the Neo Phoenix. Catch and shoot, not gonna work. Dirty trying to push. I'll just set things up. They look inside, Dudzinski. Pass a little bit too high for him. Another reset. Artan still in the shot clock. Aura gets in and lays that through. It's now 16 point advantage at 59 to 43. Getting away inside is Sean Long. Badly needed basket for them. He now is in double digits with 10 points. Eight thirty-seven still to be played in the third. Second half has just started. Clark finds Ora. Lutzinski can hit that from long range. A little bit too strong that time. Clark will reset and hit. Angelo there with a nice smile as Cody's got 10 points now. 17 point advantage at 62 to 45. Shannon wanting to post here. Angelo to the wing. Clark with the rebound, he gets fouled. Sean was making the motion that he got pushed from the back. Takeuchi with a foul there. Takeuchi, of course, has had his best years behind him, but still can give quality minutes to his squad. Don't forget, he's six foot nine. David will walk this one down. Hands it to 30. Nice spin. Aura is going to miss that layup though. He was wary about the bigs coming into challenge. Angelo to the wing. They get it inside. Quick pass back. Open three. Not going to work. But Angelo's there. Foul's going to be called on Cody. You don't want to give up any easy shots. Not at this stage. They're building a commanding lead. Ooh, the foul's going to be called, they say, on Aura. That's his third. Angelo will try to challenge up against the defense of 30. Ooh, 30 got hit. As Angelo took the shot. And he got hit where it counts. Let's see that again. 
There's a slight kick. The initial call said ball sign in and they're going to stick with that initial call. trying to take matters into his own hands offensively. He's got a whole lot of players that are better than him on the offensive end. Another three. Long rebound goes to Long. Long gets away for two inside. He's got four points here in the third quarter alone. 30 gets taken down. Angelo, that's not a good pass. Check that, that was Takeuchi. I'd give your big man that sharp of a pass down low. points always around that basket now it's long who's hobbling quickly heads to the bench he will get replaced as the trainers are trying to work on him looks like it's that left leg of his Let's see what transpired long went down well, he'll get called for the second personal foul. <laughs> Cody Clark was given a free throw there. He'll make it. It's now an 18 point lead here. It's 65 to 47. Power promptly checks back in. Angelo trying to take matters into his own hands, and why not? With Long on the bench, it's left for him and Ian take on the cudgels we got a timeout on the floor we'll be back for more action here in just a bit veteran, also a former national player, Inatsuya Ota, 
in the ball game now. Former teammates with Georgie Takeuchi. Can't score there. Ota is also 39 years old. Also standing six foot nine. Let's see the matchup against each other if they can. Former national squad members. We're gonna count the basket here off that quick move from Ian Hummer. <laughs> Ball's going to be called in Sasaki, his second. Sasaki there, trying to get away with a quick two. Doesn't happen. That's a big swing. Eight points now in the contest here for Kinoshita. That's going to cut the lead down to 12. A little bit of a gamble here coming from Coach Ono. Only going with one import. Kosokawa with the floater. He's got 10 points. Led by his two threes in the first half. Lead back up to 14. We're gonna give him that one. Easy two for Hummer. Now it's seven points. Sasaki to the corner. We'll bring it back out. Clark will challenge. Short of that one. 30 will get there. Finds Cody. Wide open. Bang! Up to a 15 point lead, 14 points now in the contest for Cody Clark. Getting away for two. Again is Kinoshita. Now in double digits with 10. That wasn't the best defensive stance put up by the San Diego Phoenix. Sasaki. We'll bring it out. Wait for Ota. Set that pick. Osakawa's three not gonna count as Ota got fouled on his inside incursion. There's Ota rolling to the basket. There was the foul. The body check there. That was clearly way ahead of the shot, so that really will not count. That will be the third team foul on Osaka. Yamauchi will check in. Ujinski, Ota, Yamauchi, Osokawa. Together with Sasaki on the floor now for Sanin. Wants to rest his main men. I think more than anything else, you need to be able to get Hosokawa, Yamauchi, and Sasaki involved. You want them to be in top form from the playoffs. 30s are playing very well. So is Cody Clark. So is Yante Matten. Matten might not be fielded back in here. Sokawa kissed it off the glass. He could have actually also passed it down low to Dudzinski. He was back up to 15. Much more comfortable margin. Cross court pass as Tajima puts up a floater a little bit too strong. Otto with the rebound. Sasaki. With just one man to beat, why not? He's got eight points. Slowly getting there. Talking about him getting back into fighting form. Tajima again. 
finds his import. Hummer kicks it back out. Asahi for three. Yes. It's a dead shot. Nailed it there. Got a total of seven points. So it pokes the two minute mark on the third. Ota with a jumper. That's not a specialty. But he shot that in rhythm. Security getting ready to check back in. The next dead ball. Together with Cody Clark. I would have thought they'll be sent in to begin the fourth. Travel is going to be called there in long. So he made his move before he put that ball on the floor. Hence to travel. Sasaki replaced together with Ota. They want to finish this quarter strong. Pass is not there and 30 says that was my bad. to long double gets there a little bit too late Dudzinski will be called for the foul These are free throws. Really needed by Osaka. A little bit too strong there from Sean. That was a brick. Here he will bring it down. Good challenge. Kicks it out. Yamauchi finds Cody Clark wide open. He'll miss. Not gonna drop. 30. Did he try to look for an early score? A sidestepping move. I was tipped in there by Dudzinski. 30 was actually asking for a foul. None given, but the lead is back up to 15. That's exactly what Coach Ono wants. A huge lead. Heading into the fourth. Long. Can't save it. Stepped on the baseline. And then we'll now go for the final shot here. 11.8 to be played in the third. Uh, he checks back in. Smart move. Coach Fisher doesn't want to get any of his key players pick up a cheap foul. He needs them ready for the fourth. Cross got to make his move. Is there a foul? No foul called. Clark held on to that ball a little bit too long before starting the offense, but nonetheless. Still a solid showing here for Sanen as they head into the fourth, up by 15.
We got a scoring leaders there on your screens. Angelo with 15, Sean with 13, and Kinoshita with 10. Seven apiece for Asahi and Ian Hummer. Third, he has the controls here to start. The fourth period, 30. Tries to attack, will lose possession. Now they got a score to get right back into this one. Asai. He slipped a little bit too strong. Ian can't drop that one. 30 comes away with the rebound. Now the loose clock. Rush things. They don't need to. Sticking a little too close there was Asahi, and you've got to give the player space to land. Watch it here. He came in too close. There was body contact as well. Three free throws coming up here now. Third personal foul from Asahi Tajima. Biggest lead of the contest was at 18. That was at 65 to 47. Clark might just be able to duplicate that feat here with three shots. He knew that was short. Didn't like the release. Free throw will drop. 16 points now here for Cody Clark. Don't look now, but they're pressing. Shifu Ganamaru in. I feel he should get extended minutes here. Whether they need him or not, he needs a lot of game time. Oh, it's going to be called once again. Clark attacking the basket. Not that pass. From 30 Ravenna. Third person of all going to be called there. And Kinoshita. He doesn't like the call. Ota back in. Matin, as we said, just might not be seeing action anymore after getting hit in the head earlier. You gotta like that decision also coming from Coach Ono. He said at the top of the coverage, Sammy Nathanus had qualified for the playoffs. Off a steal here. For 30. Touch pass. Goes to the corner. Ora. Almost lost it. 
Dirty battling for it, but they're going to say he stepped on the baseline. Quite sure why Sanin is rushing here. Going back to the point we're trying to make. We talked about it at the top of the coverage. Sanin safely in the playoffs. They'd like to be able to stay in top form. At the same time, they need to be healthy. Talking about top form. Isabel is not yet there. He's in with the shot. The shot was challenged though. A lot of times he would make that one regardless. Angelo. Foul would be called there in 30. First personal foul on Ravenna. Go to the wing. Open three, yes! That'll work for Nishikawa. He now has eight points. He's still hanging around. 16 points. Quite manageable. He needs stops. Out of the handoff, gets it right back. Eventually, getting it. Easy layup there for Ian. He's got nine points, and a timeout will be called now by Coach Ono. He's not taking chances. Foul be called there in Angelo. Not quite sure why he wanted to challenge that high. Second personal foul. Cody wasn't making his move yet. You don't want to get into early foul trouble. Saka now with three team fouls. A lot of time still to be played here. Not to mention the fact that they're trailing by 14. Stronger defensively is Osaka here in the second half, though. That also might be partially because Sanen, with his big lead, has been coasting. From a coaching standpoint, you want to be able to make sure that your boys are pushing hard every single minute until the end. Ora will come up short. 30. Puts it through. Offensive rebound and put back there for Ravenna. He's got 14 markers. As we said a while ago, he's always around that basket. Leads back up to 16. Open three, not gonna work. Gudzinski with the board. 30 will bring it down. Pushes it to Cody. The 
Look at him swing that ball from left to right. And then back to the left. Defense really having to move. 30. Misses on that three. Ajima. Need to try to create for his squad here a little bit quicker. And go inside Ian. Ian won't challenge. Chumper is going to work once again. Two baskets in succession for Nishikawa. Get that lead back down to 14. Cody Clark from the parking lot. Logo 3 works. He's got 21 points now. The lead is back up to 17. Steal. They got numbers. Clark says, let me take another three. Knocks it down once again. And a timeout is going to be called here by Coach Matthias. With just 15 seconds before technical timeout. Matthias says, we got to stop the red hot Cody Clark. Here he is once again. Swishing that three. As quickly as that, 20 seconds gone. After we came back, we're gonna have another timeout. This is an official timeout here.
back for the final five minutes. Just about. Hasaki in the ball game together with Hosokawa. 30 will get the layup here. Game long brilliance from 30 at Avena. He's got 16 points now. Helping his squad another victory. It's now a 20 point advantage at 90 to 70. Looks like they're going to be able to duplicate their 96 to 79 victory from yesterday. More than the victories, it's really just staying in tip top shape for the San Antonio Phoenix. They prepare for the playoffs. Their first place in the playoffs. Osakawa will misfire Ota. Offensive rebound and the new clock. Ota once again giving them quality minutes. Flip from Sasaki doesn't work. They go inside long. Will be called for steps. Referees say he jumped. Let's see. Oh, he didn't jump. Just looked like he did, but nonetheless, travel has been called. Final four minutes. You see still a lot of movement here from the boys in red. In the defense, honest and Sasaki scores inside. He's in double digits now with 10. Ian will kick it out. Long three, rims out. They get a brand new 14 to work with. Long. That's a quick double. Long two is going to count. Ooh, they're going to say it's a three, though. Three points will be credited to Takumi Takagi. Foul will be called on Takagi. That will put Evesa over the limit. Yamauchi will check in. Clark puts up a long one. That won't drop. That'd be a good time to get Cody Clark out of the ball game as well. He was just reactivated a few weeks back after being out for about 10, 15 days. Hummer. Falling away, no. Long is there. Ota did everything he possibly could to stop that two points from going down, but he fouled him and Long scored still. Watch Ota here with the box out and then with the swipe. But at the end, Long just scored once again. Dudzinski is going to check back in. Not quite sure why. Two twenty one still to be played. And you can see Yante Mappin with a towel draped over him on that bench. He's not feeling good. He might have to enter concussion protocols. Thirty for three. Overshoots. They'll kick it out. Yamauchi. Long distance three counts. He is back up to 19. He's got three points. His first basket. Yamauchi actually also participated in the All Star festivities. He's a very popular player in Japan. Pass goes to Yamauchi. They'll kick it out. Hosokawa. No hesitation. He fires in the three. Forward pass. Trying to get a three. Yamauchi's going to get there. 
taps it to 30. Can't kick it out. Good shot. Clark says, let me get one. Kissing it off the glass. He now leads the scoring with 26 points. As we approach the final minute. Three's gonna count. Consolation basket there. 13 points in total. Here for Takanobu Nishikawa. It's gonna be a losing effort though. That substitution you have to appreciate. Tatsumi Yu will check in. The 22 year old giving some quality minutes. At the same time, you save 30 to Venom for another day. Cody Clark scores once again. He's got 28 points. So I guess they're going to finish this game with Dudzinski and Clark on the floor. Steal from Yamauchi. Clark will go inside. The youngster will deliver. But Tatsumi with two points. The lead is now 21. At 101 to 79. And Hummer will deliver. They might need to get this past the half court. They will. And that will be your final score. 101 to 81. A 21 point vic 20 point victory for the San Neo Phoenix. It was close in the first two quarters. And then San En started to flex their muscles. Winning this one, pulling away 101 to 81. Coach Matthias and company trying to play the spoilers role here. Not able to do it. 60. Stick around, we're going to have interviews with Coach Ono and some of the stars of the San Diego Phoenix in just a few. さあ、はい、昨日よりもあの、アクティブにディフェンスのところ、あの、集中して入ってくれたと思いますし、昨日よりいいゲームだったんじゃないかなと思ってます。さあ、そして、え、実質に向けても一言お願いします。はい、本日もたくさ
さあ大声援ですねまずは勝利おめでとうございますありがとうございます、えー、今日の試合を振り返って一言お願いしますはい、えー、チームでやるべきことをまあ40分間の中でまあたくさんできたところがまあ勝利につながったと思っているので、えー、今日は良かったと思いますさあそして日を増すごとにですね今もねそうですけどファンの声援が大きくなっておりますファンに向けても一言お願いしますはい、えー、今日も応援ありがとうございます、えー、まだ、えー、レギュラーシーズンが続くので、えー、勝っていい流れで CS に行けるように頑張るので応援よろしくお願いしますありがとうございました細川和樹選手にお話をお伺いしましたさあそしてもう一人本日二十八得点を挙げました四番コティクラーク選手ですありがとうございますさあまずはね本日の試合を振り返って一言お願いしますああ、そうですね、えー、今日はね、えー、本日の試合を振り返って一言お願いしますあのこのバックトゥーバックでやはり勝つというのは本当にあの難しいことなんですけれどもしっかりタフなゲームを、えー、と勝利できてよかったと思っていますあの昨日と今日やるべきことをしっかりやること、えー、そこを遂行することということを集中してやったのでそれが良、えー、かったと思いますさあ昨日です、ね、チャンピオンシップ、えー、シーズンで、ね、決定しましたけど、えー、このシーズン向けて一言お願いします。We appreciate you and thankful、um, for your support,、uh, your giving, its kindness.、Um, you all are beautiful people, and we enjoy seeing you on the road and as well as home. So continue to support, and we'll keep doing our job. あの本当に皆さんのえたくさんのサポートありがとうございます。本当にもう美しいもういい人たちが揃っていると思いますので、これからもえっとロード遠征先でもえこれからの CS でもたくさんの応援よろしくお願いいたします。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございましたコティ・クラーク選手にお話をお伺いしましたさあ本日の部屋山田プレゼンツフェイクリードショーこちらになります一枚打ち早くホットプレートこちらをですね DBA の方にプレゼントさせていただきます当選者の方はこちらの DBA になります当選おめでとうございますご検査券会場表面にありますインフォメーションブースでお受け取りください So going to the interviews, Coach Ono actually just said he was happy with the activity that his team had, especially defensively, and he thanked everybody for the support, not just for today, but for this weekend. Hosokawa, on the other hand, said he was very happy that he and his squad performed very well. In both offense and defense. That's why they got the victory here today. We are. Don't go away because we're going to have highlights before you break down some numbers. Clark and Osokawa are fixing their signatures there. Happy crowd we have here at the Toyohashi City Gym. Because the San Antonio Phoenix have picked up another victory.
They're 40th. But now they're 40 and 10. Osaka, on the other hand, drops to 20 and 30. Enjoy the highlights. Ora just got them started on the right note. Attacking once again the much smaller Tatsuya Suzuki. Clark will lose it. And Angelo with the easy lay in there. Long and Angelo. They have pretty decent games. Up and under move. Score there by Angelo. He wouldn't finish this game though. He'll be on the bench. But he was the most effective of the three world imports. Sasaki checked in and gave them a lot of good minutes. We're hoping that continues. Not just here. At the end of the playoffs the playoffs but they wanted to be able to really do well in the postseason together with Kosuki Kanemaru Kanemaru was scoreless today he's a vital cog for this squad Kanemaru was a starter he played a little over 14 minutes over three from the field he needs to have better production if they want to Create a lot of ripples in the playoffs. What they call here the B League, the championship. Cody Ravenna has been in good form all throughout the season. He would finish today with 18 points. Also had six rebounds and four assists. He also had one steal. Yante Matin played only nine minutes. He would score six points, two out of three from the field. Because he got hit in the head. He suffered a concussion on that play. He went down quickly. Watch it here once again. And that's another play now. Steal. Coming from Suzuki. First two quarters. It's pretty competitive. First quarter ended in favor of Sanen. 22 to 19. At the half, it is 57 to 43. Kosokawa came in and did exactly what was needed, draining those open threes. Dudzinski can hit as well. Couldn't hit there. Long rebound goes to Cody Clark. He drains a three. He would hit two more. Looked like a scary moment for Sasaki there as he went down. But he came up and said he's good to go. Quick hit though. On the other end, with the boys in white. 30. Finds Clark. He drains another three. Ball movement as Asai Tajima knocks down a triple. But the third quarter ended with still a sizable advantage here for Sanin at 76 to 61. But there was actually no tip in there. A while ago, I thought it was tipped. The 30 will get the two points. Cody Clark will finish. 50% of the field with 28 points. He also got seven boards and six assists. Lutzinski, the other import on the other hand, would finish with 12 points. Also had seven boards and two dimes. Ravenna there with a putback. Look at how high up he gets.
Clark, no go three. Looking at the other side. Long would finish. 16 points, decent in the mouth. He also had six rebounds and four assists. Unfortunately, it was a losing effort. Hummer came in, played 21 minutes, scored 13 points, also grabbed five rebounds and issued three assists. They just really lacked the local firepower. The youngster scores. Came in there and Tatsumi Yu will deliver a basket as we have the numbers. 66% shooting from two as compared to 54%. 39% shooting from three as compared to 33%. Not really too much of a difference if you look at it in terms of percentage, but six more threes were hit by the San Antonio Phoenix. That's why they won this one running away. Rebounding discrepancy, not that big. Just plus seven for San En. In the assists, wow. Osaka even had two more than the San Diego Phoenix, but in the end, they would lose by a huge margin, 20 points. Points in the paint, dead even at 46. Second chance points, 20 to 15, not that much of a difference as well. As we take a look at the key player matchup, this was no contest because Yante Maten was taken out by Sean Long's elbow. That's why he only played nine minutes, to be exact, 8.58. But Yante will say, it doesn't really matter. My team got the victory. We now have 40 wins heading into the playoffs. Top scorers, 28 points for Clark, 18 for Ravenna, and 12 points for Dudzinski. For Osaka, 16 points for Sean. Anthony, excuse me, Angelo had 15 and Nishikawa would finish with 13. Rebounding numbers, seven apiece for Clark and Dudzinski, six for Ravenna, for Evesa, six for Long and Angelo and Ian with five apiece. And looking at the assists finally, Seven assists for Ora, six for Clark, four for Ravenna. Suzuki would finish with five assists, four for Sean Long, and three for Leo. Those are the leaders in the different categories. A solid victory here for the San Neo Phoenix. That's going to do it for our coverage. We'd like to thank all of you for joining us this Sunday afternoon. Till next week. Take care, everybody. Have a good week ahead. God bless.